Marcella! Yamanako's crew will be an example to others. Don't side with the Mongols. Now to meet Sugi up the coast to the north.
Farewell, Sugi. I wish you better fortune in the afterlife. I should return to Sugi's husband, tell him what happened. shall I play for this one, to calm him down? My mother taught me the song doesn't need to be simple to be calming. to get her attention, till my father scolded me for disturbing her. She smiled, holding up my chin, and said, Peace doesn't always come quietly. I don't think either of us understood what she meant.
into our trap. Stay safe. You can no longer tell. I'm losing my mind. His voice still haunts my mind. No, please! Are you all right? Have you heard of Gyozen? The blind chronicler of legends. I know of him, but we've never met. His stories thrill me, yet his voice is supernatural. Have you heard the legend of the fire spirits of Yarikawa? I fled before he finished, but I must know how the story ends. I haven't heard it, but Gozen's legends do shine a light in these dark times. I will seek him out and learn this story for you. If it's not too much effort, Others have less and suffer more. Bad times. We'll do it again. You haven't seen what the Eagle Tribe can do. And you're too young to remember the samurai invasion, the pain we endured, the people we lost. Thought I knew every face on Iki. Just a traveler. Stranded here by the Eagle Tribe. You're welcome to join us. If you want to hear an old man complain about the past. We survived one invasion. And we can do it again. 
Or have you all forgotten how much we suffered at the hands of the samurai? That was nothing compared to the danger we face now. Nonsense. You are too young to know anyway. It's past time. I remind you all about the dark days of the samurai invasion. About the brutality of Kazumasa Sakai. Fifteen years ago, our home was invaded by an army of ruthless samurai. Their leader was Kazumasa Sakai, the butcher of Iki. He rode to battle atop his demonic beast, shielded with armor as black as his master's heart. Luckily, the butcher made a grave mistake when he came to Iki. He brought his whelp of a son. Our bravest warriors hunted the boy, not to kill, but to tempt his bloodthirsty father. Kazumasa gave chase and rode into a trap. His armored horse met a grisly end. But the butcher and his runt son survived, then fled like cowards. Enough of these lies. That is not what happened. I lived near Senjo Gorge. I saw it with my own eyes. So did I. Who are you? My name is Jin Sakai. Kazumasa Sakai was my father. He gave his life trying to help this island. Help! He murdered us! Your people repaid his help by murdering him. Is that why you're here? To avenge your father and take my head? Insult my father again, and you'll find out. Bastard! Stop this! You're acting like wild dogs! I came here to help, not for revenge. You mentioned my father's horse armor. After he died, we never recovered it. We know. Tell me where it is, and I can use it to ride against the Eagle tribe. I would die before I help a samurai. It's time you leave. Stay out. You know something about my father's horse armor. But he'll never tell me. Unless I listen in on him. Without being seen. Stay out. Who's there? Let's see. He's here! Bastard! One more. You're not welcome here. Noble samurai, and I would have. Jiro! I lost six family members to the samurai invasion. My sister was still a child. The way they were butchered, we couldn't recover everything to give them a proper burial. That never should have happened. What about the rest of your story? Ah, yes. I was just getting to the good part. Kazumasa fell for our trap and lost his armored horse. As our warriors closed in, the butcher and his boy fled into Senjo Gorge. The samurai limped through the canyon, 
and ran headfirst into an ambush. There was no grand battle. Only a few raiders with dull blades. But that was all it took. One swing to end the life of Kazumasa Sakai. While the samurai slunk home, we recovered the armor from Kazumasa's mount. Over the years, our finest horses wore that armor. Every one of them killed its rider. As if possessed by the butcher's vengeful spirit. So we sold his horse's armor to the Ida merchant family. The cursed armor left our shores aboard the merchant fleet as a storm descended on our island. The sky roared with the thunder of a thousand charging samurai, and the raging tempest shattered the Ida ships against our rocky coastline. The ruins of that doomed fleet still choke Zasho Bay, and somewhere in that watery graveyard lies the cursed armor once worn by the horse of Kazumasa Sakai. This horse armor is still lost in Zasho Bay. Armor should be on the merchant's lead ship, marked by the Ida family banner. Was it gold or red?
The curse of Kazumasa Sakai is real. Once your horse wears this armor, he will feel your father's terrible bloodlust, and he will kill you. 